Hi guys, welcome to your March 2021. This is going to be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Capricorn. Hey Caps, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. And if you're subscribed to the Tribe Owl, what's good fam bams? Hello to my members. Everything that you need to know about this particular video is below. Um, I have done a phenomenal job at <laughs> linking everything down in the description box for you. If you happen to not catch this video when it came, um, when I reintroduced it to you guys at the beginning of the month, please go and check that out. I did link that for you in the description. If you want to see what it is and the ins and outs, I'm going to set you up a little bit, but I'm not going to go into too much depth. Um, depth about it because I am trying to get through it. So um, anything that you need, again, is below. So Capricorn. Mm, mm, mm. Connecting with your energy. What's interesting is, is this is all about forgiveness. Making amends, healing after arguments. Okay. You guys are in the card of 52. You are in the energy of 52 and you are in the energy of a seven. Um, there's somebody in your energy that has fluctuating emotions and that drives you up a wall. There is somebody also in between the two of you who is holding their position and holding out. I don't know for some type of vendetta or some type of, um, some type of energy of, of vindictiveness, it feels like. Um, this energy um, is split up into two. So this is the central theme right here, mending. Um, everybody mends differently. So you be you are very straightforward. If you want, if you're gonna work on it, you're gonna work on it. If you're not, you're not. I normally don't pull the energy off the, the, the top shuffles of the deck when I sit them down, but those cards are really important. One side is in the Seven of Wands, and the other side is definitely in the, the Moon. Divine uh, fem, Feminine is in the Seven of Wands, and then Divine Masculine is in the energy of the Moon. Capricorn, as you already know, you are a feminine energy, so you are obviously the one that is holding their ground. I just want to read this to you. You've come to a place where forgiveness is necessary to move forward, either separate or together. Um, you and the other person still experience the difficulties, the, the effects of a hurt that is impacting everything you do, even if you're not aware of it. The energy needs to be clear. What must you do to bridge the gap? Closing your heart is not the answer. Um, you have the power to heal this wound. Ask yourself, what would love do? Only good will come of forgiveness and um, an honest redress. I often um, had a client um, when I was speaking with her in her um, in her readings or in her personal session. And she said, well, maybe you need to, we were just talking, and maybe the answer is to not love. Well... That would not be the goal here. Like, why would you want to not love a person that you just went all of this? Not that not that you not want to. The question is not or why would you not want to love the person? The question should always the answer should always be, regardless of the question, is that you stand in that love. It's about accepting. And if an individual can't accept you know, the circumstances, then that's when you need to, obviously, what needs to be accepted, Marv? Well, obviously, if one person wants to mend and the other person doesn't, you know, if the person is not going to work with you, that's something different. But the question is, is what are you going to do to, to bridge the gap? You know, together or separate, like I tell everybody, if you're operating from a standpoint of hurt and you're holding on to this connection and it wasn't properly closed, there was no amends, you missed the person, but you're pissed off at them at the same time. Why would you invite somebody else into that? Why? Just for the sake of saying that I can do it? I mean, we have to be responsible. So in as adults, we all have that responsibility. We have to be responsible because now we're just opening up karma. But I know for some Zodiac signs, that seems too corny. They don't want to do that. I'm not putting my life on hold. But you're not putting your life on hold. You're mending yourself. 
you're taking responsibility for what you're going through and actually trying to fix yourself before you introduce another energy in here. Now, I explain this because I feel as if two parties obviously are not understanding and that's making a choice. So you really have to make a choice whether this is what you want to do. And no one is telling you that you have to. Capricorns, darlings, we are in the energy of yours, which Capricorn being a feminine energy, we're going to start with the feminine side, okay? Show me spirit and let's see what we got. The first card is the fool. There is a part of you feminines or Capricorn. Um, you feel I can take the risk, but do I want to take the risk? It's like the energy is here for you to take the leap of faith, but towards what? What choice are you making? Show me spirit. Ah, you're contemplating what that is right now. It's not about having the energy to do it or the desire to do it. It's about really thinking about whether you want to do it. Do you understand what I'm saying? Show me spirit. You are, you should be in a very contemplative type of um, energy. And I like to see that it should never be any other way. You should be really taking a rest right now and really thinking about what you should do. Um, there is three that's face down. Um, they're all over the place here. So I'm going to take all three of them and I am going to just make one of them the top of the day. Or maybe not. So there's a death energy here, an energy of transformations. There is a seven of pentacles here, which is the energy that you're in while you're contemplating. I'm going to leave this deck alone. I'm just going to take these extra. And there is also a nine of cups. So the, the choices that you must make right now is to ensure that you are doing what you need to do coming from a place of love and making the right choice. If you want to invest more and see the seeds come to fruition or you want to just walk away. Endings are merely are, are, are merely beginnings with the death here. But understand that that death energy means that you are willing to be, become reborn, if that makes sense. You have to embrace the energy of change, Cap, or divine feminines in order for you to do that. But this person, there's a wish to you. There's a certain part of seeing this love through to its end that is a wish for you. The top of the deck is coming in in the Eight of Swords, and that is why you should be contemplating right now. So I like that for you. We're going to go and find out how the masculines are feeling about this situation. Um, if you are connecting with Sagittarius, go watch that video. That had a twist. Um, wow. Show me spirit. Divine masculines are in the Knight of Pentacles. Now we already know that the knight moves at his own accord. He does not like to be rushed on. Oh, okay. What he has to do. Okay. Well, I can put that down. Shut me up. He has a timeline in mind. I don't want to make him sound arrogant. Um, I really don't, but your version of the king of the... Oh, that's... Oh, the knight of pentacles may be a bit of... A little bit arrogant. I just want to say that um, when this energy knows what it wants, it feels like it has earned the right to be a little bit more selective. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's the same way with the more cocky king, like like our, our king of wands, for example. You know, sometimes the imagery... You know, they're in this light where it's like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm what's up, you know, but I want you to realize that oh, that's getting on my nerves. I want you to realize that they do feel like they can take their time and make this decision when they feel like making the decision, which probably pisses you off, feminines. There's more. They're coming, though, with a brand new truth. And 
I want to let you know, Capricorns, that if this is as the Capricorn energy, but the divine feminine, if this is what you're going through, you got all of these cards over here that popped out in your energy. So I know you're worrying about it. Although you're stoic and you a boss and you got your game face, this side, boom, 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 I'm done. <laughs> like, and that's probably what upsets you. You are attracted to the confidence, but it upsets you that it controls you. I can imagine. Cap Moon here. This person is going to be coming with a brand new truth. And they're going to reset the clock when they feel like resetting the clock. And it doesn't matter whether you like it or not. And yes, I do feel a little bit of vindictiveness. I feel like they want to... And I see what you're saying. You're showing that they they have some Scorpio energy. Um, you're showing that you have invested a lot over here. You're showing that it would be your wish for you to get what I'm about to show you that I haven't shown you yet. And they know it. And they're going to be bringing this cup of love right back. They're in love with you. Um, and you probably don't know that. Um, but they definitely are in love with you. The top of the deck is the king of pentacles. I can't even make that up. This person is the king of pentacles, but they take their time like a knight. They have things that they want to see. They have to see things their way. They, they're not easily prone for seeing things from any other standpoint, but their own. And you're the same way. So Divine Feminine and Divine Masculine here is definitely mirroring from that perspective, but in different energy. My Feminines is afraid. There is a fear here that, you know, there's something that's not going to go on. But my Masculines is saying, I'm in love with you. But, you know, I don't want to say you don't dictate or control the timeline, but I feel like... You know, this is a person who is trying to make you see that it doesn't happen on your time just because you know that it should happen and you have a sense of entitlement. So they want to punish you. That's what it feels like. But that can be going a little bit deeper. Bottom line is, is this person knows exactly what they want. They have a timeline of exactly when they want to give it to you. They're going to give you the truth and they're going to tell you um, how much love they have for you at their own pace. And you, on the other hand, don't like that. Let me know what the masculine, the feminines are thinking about the masculine. Yes, you guys got these poker face on. You got the poker face on. And it's like a competition, which is not right. It shouldn't be a competition, but it's like a battle of wills. And you feel like they, they're escaping. You feel like that... They're trying to, they have little regard for consequence. You feel like they need to be in more in an energy of you're not waiting for them and maybe that they're going to lose you and they're just not, they're, the, the tricks are not working. It's time to go back to the drawing board. And you're done. You're tapped out. And I see it. You're not at the 10, but you're definitely fearful. Um, it doesn't look like my masculines are in that energy. We'll find out what they think about it, but... You're physically try, you're you're ready to make a change. You you feel like you've been on this um this dead horse, beating this dead horse for a long time. But it's interesting to for you to to see how you guys are interpreting this energy of mending. Like I said in the book, and it's the very last card in this deck, too. That's what's interesting about this. The very last one. Like I say. You come to a place where forgiveness is necessary. There could have been something um, where, you know, it's time to make amends. It's really time to heal forgiveness. Um, it doesn't look like you're trying to do that right now. You're you're contemplating what you want to do, divine feminines. But right now you're still in. I'm keeping my guard up. What is divine masculine feeling? Sunshine. They're trying to keep it positive. They're trying to keep things positive um, and reveling in things going well. They're trying to have some fun. <laughs> They're just trying to have some fun here. 
and that's probably upset upsetting you very much so because they they seem to know what they want but they've been the one holding up the ship right show me spirit blast from the past so right now it's looking like there's been a lot of people coming back I don't know whether the past is returned or situation out of the blue or something, but this is ringing a bell for me because you can't build a cup of love overnight. Now, I happen to know that there are some signs that you are that you may connect with that holds on to things, but you can't advance into a cup of love. It can feel good when you go into something um, and when something returns from the past. We don't have any retrogrades right now. So typically that's a retrograde energy. All We have all direct motion right now, ADM in the sky. That's going to be changing, but we have it right now. So I'm not going to automatically say that there is a blast from the past. Um, you know, sometimes we run into people from the past, but this is something or someone or a situation from the past returns. Um, it could be that they're having fun. It's interesting that... They're deciding to just kind of leave this situation where it is right now because they really are trying to revel in their control. Um, you, on the other hand, um, in the past, feminines are trying to come out or move away from things that no longer serve you in the Six of Swords. Um, you wanted to get away from whatever was plaguing you. Um, and what the masculines were doing was focusing on this relationship. Now, if this translates in they were cultivating something with someone else behind your back, I don't think that that's what this is saying, but you could be interpreting it that way. I'm telling you that I don't read it that way um, because you can't get to a full-blown Ace of Cups unless you were actually putting in the work. So, you know... If it is a possibility, but I don't see that. I did see, I just see that the masculines right now are just enjoying things in their lives. The blast from the past can mean a lot of things. I don't automatically want to put too much into that. Sometimes, you know, friends come back into your life and you're in that weird holding pattern with another person. But again, what I tell you guys is anything that is built on the firm uh, on anything that is built on a rocky foundation is not going to last. You guys are in the energy of mending. And this is what needs to happen to bridge the gap between you guys. Um, I don't want to bring anybody else in because it's you versus them. So I don't see that. But I know that that's possibly what some people may have thought when they seen blast from the past. And I don't want to automatically um, make that the thing. I feel like it could be a possibility that they can be looking at you like you have had a blast from the past. Um, and maybe there is someone that has come into your life, um, Capricorn feminines, uh, divine feminines, and is kind of steering the ship here. So we want to make sure they seem to be very direct on what they want to do. They are a king of pentacles showing up. They are a knight of pentacles moving that knight, that, that pentacle and that commitment when they feel like it. They're looking like they're more prone to mending this, to moving on out of the stagnation, which is kind of weird. Um, on this side... Um, the Divine Feminist has a lot of thinking to do. You want to take a leap of faith, but there is something that the, the way that this king moves, the way that Divine Masculine moves, the way that they've done something that you that just rubs you the wrong way, Feminist. And you're, you're questioning yourself right now. Like, should I mend? Now, keep in mind, all masculine zodiac signs are Aries, Gemini, Leo, Libra, Sagittarius, and Aquarius. So out of those masculine energies, you can be connecting with either one of them, uh, sun, moon, rising, and Venus and multiple, you know, it doesn't matter. So you can, you know, kind of take it how you want to take it, Capricorn, but it looks like right now, this is a time of you to you're in deep thought. You do have some things that you have kind of created in your head. 
that's what this is looking like but take it as it resonates you don't you know whatever side makes sense you could be resonating with this side and that this could be what they're in i do see transformation so right now this side or divine feminine is going through tremendous transform transformative energy um, death is here, so I am confident, and the fool is here, so I'm confident. But if you wanted me to tell you what the energy of this mending is, it feels like divine feminine is undergoing major transformations. Um, this is about your thoughts, your actions, your fears, and everything that has made you who you are in this relationship, I feel. And you really have to decide whether you want to give it another chance because it is obvious that this particular um, relationship has or this experience has really uh, profoundly affected you. And you need to come to grips with whether that effect is good or bad. Divine Masculines is cool, calm, and collected right now. They are in love with you and they're not backing down. And whether that love is non-action right now because you're in a state of not knowing or they're trying to love you and you rejected the love because there was something else that was missing or whatever, that's what I see. Like, share, subscribe to The Marvelous Tribe. I will see you guys next month when we do it again, Capricorn. Um, the order... The order of the poll has been extended. Please go and vote. And I will see you guys in a couple of days in the you. And I'm sorry, in the what aren't they telling you week four so we can close out the month. Remember, this is where they are with you. So I don't know. I don't know, Caps. You guys let me know what this is about. I normally don't read this type of energy for you, but it's, it's going to be a month of revelations. All planets are in forward motion right now. All systems are a go. There is nothing retrograde. So what is going on? Drop it like it's hot in those comments and let me know, especially new you members. I want to know what this is about. Bye, guys.